Hello everybody, and today I'm going to teach you how to import your own custom sound into Super Mario 64. I'm doing this because simply I struggled with it, and I want to help those who are also struggling with it, and make it as simple as possible. So, before we get started, we're going to need your own custom sound, an audio editing program, a fresh copy of Super Mario 64. I cannot provide this, uh, you're going to have to just Google it yourself, for if I were to provide this I'd get in trouble, and uh, the Nintendo 64 sound tool. Once you have that, all that, we can get started. We're first, we're going to open up the sound tool. We're going to go to File, Open Known Game, go to, down to Star Wars, and then Mario 64. Then we're going to open the ROM, and there you go. Now, all this looks super intimidating. Don't let it intimidate you. For about 90% of this, we're going to ignore. So, now then we're going to figure out which sound we want to replace. I already know what I'm going to replace, and that's Mario saying, It's me, Mario! You know, from the intro sequence in Super Mario 64. Now, I already know where this is, and that's Sound Bank 0A and instrument number 8. How do I know this? Well, a nice group of folks were able to make a huge list of what is in each sound bank and what instruments are in each. So I'm going to leave that in the description, and you can check that out figure out which sound you want to replace. However, if you now play the sound, for your ears, it could be loud. Hey, it doesn't sound right. It sounds super high-pitched. That's because of the sample rate. Now, if it sounds too high-pitched, you can lower the sample rate until it sounds right, or if it's too deep, you increase it until it sounds right. You can either do that, which is the easy way, or you can use your audio editing program to make it sound right. I don't recommend it, but you can if you want. Luckily, we already know the sweet spot for uh, Mario's voice sound incorrect, and that is 16,000. And if you play it now... It's me, Mario! That sounds right to me. So, that sounds like Mario. Now, what you want to do after this, after you get it in correct sample rate, you're going to want to save it. I'm going to save it on the desktop. There we go. And then you can begin editing the... Uh, the sound with your audio editing program. I'm going to use Odyssey in this case. I'm going to drop it, drop the actual sound, and then the custom sound. Now, do note when editing the custom sound, your, your, uh, the exported sound, sorry, your imported sound must be either equal length or, or shorter than the exported sound because if it is any longer the game will struggle and either the sound won't work or it's going to give you a memory error so you got to make sure it's either equal to the exported sound or shorter than the exported sound in this case it's shorter so we're fine you also have to note that your your custom sound must be split into mono because it will not work if it is stereo you also want to make sure that uh, the rate, the master sample rate, is the same as the exported sound, or then it's going to sound either too high pitched or too deep. Now, since mine is already ready to go, I can export it as a wave. It must be a wave file. I'm going to export it as that, and there it is. And now. Now we have our custom sound all ready to go, we're going to import it. You can do this by simply import, and then 16-bit, the first one there. Look for the custom sound, open, and then if you were to listen to it, boy, there you go. That works just fine. However, we're not done quite yet. Uh, make sure once you import the sound, click inject in place. And then the sound will actually be in game. I've had a lot of mo instances where I forgot to click inject in place and the sound didn't work and I was worried. So after we do that, save the ROM. It's going to make it a dot ROM. I personally would just say leave it as Z64. That's up to you. Don't matter either way. It still works. And we're going to save it to the desktop. And there it is. Now we're going to test that in game see what it sounds like. Boy. There you go. It worked just fine. We heard the sound and everything. It's a little quiet, but you can always edit that with the audio editing program. And it's simple as that. That is how you edit and import your own custom sounds in Mario 64. 
Now, of course, the method for each game is different, and the method for each sound is different. So, if say if it's not Mario's voice, the sample rate might be different. However, that is the simplest way to do it with Mario's voice in Mario 64. I hope this was informative, and thank you for watching. So, so until next time, au revoir.